Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the Witcher series, namely the latest news. Let's take a look at why lead actor Henry Cavill is leaving his beloved universe. Let's get started. At one time, the Witcher series, based on literally sourced and popular line of video games, became a kind of refuge for Henry Cavill after the collapse of DCEU under the leadership of Zack Snyder. It was believed that the actor found himself a franchise comparable in scale, which found become his grandiose solo project for many years to come. In any case, it was originally assumed that Cavill would take part in seven seasons of the film adaption of The Witcher. But in the fall of 2022, unexpectedly for most fans, he abandoned the further story of Geralt of Rivia and decided to put on the Man of Steel. Cavill himself has previously repeatedly stressed that the opportunity to play the main character of The Witcher was something of a dream come true for him. I really enjoy playing these games and reading these books in my free time, I don't consider it work. For me, it's more like an extraordinary opportunity to bring my childhood and adult fantasies to life, he said in an interview back in 2019. And the start of The Witcher was really impressive less according to official Netflix streaming statistic, but then something went wrong. And the problem was not only in the creative decisions of the creators of the show, but also in Henry Cavill himself. After all, he is a fan of the source material, both books and games, and clearly wanted to be part of faithful adaption that brought to life everything he loved so much about Andrei Sapkowski novels and classic games adaption. However, the team behind The Witcher has clearly shown little respect for the source, and it looks like the story is increasingly deviating from the one the actor was a fan of. Yes, Cavill previously counted on seven seasons of The Witcher, but there was one important detail. He insisted that the world only stay as long as, as long as we can continue to tell stories that pay homage to the author works. However, it was long been clear that the team working on The Witcher did not share the same attitude. The final of the second seasons of the series went a completely different direction than in Sapkowski books, especially in regards to the main villain, the immortal mother, who does not exist at all in the novels. Adding fuel to the fire were the comments of screenwriter Bode Meyer, who explained that he led The Witcher in part because of his college's attitude towards games and novels. Some of them weren't fans or actively disliked the books and games and even actively mocked the source material. He complained on his social media page. It is easy to see why a fan of the franchise like Cavill will be unhappy with this approach and work environment. There are already signs that the third season of The Witcher will deviate even further from the plot of the books with Robbie Emmel playing what appears to be a major elf character that doesn't appear in the books. Allegedly, the richer writing team and most notable showrunner Lauren Schmidt have no intention of sticking strictly to the richer resource going forward, leading to deeping controversy that made Cavill feel like he could no longer be part of the popular show. As a result, he decided to return to a more understandable environment. And it's not just about Superman, whose potential in a new reality for DC and Warner Bros has uh, yet to be determined, but also the project of such innovators as Guy Ritchie. As it became known, Cavill will play in the director's spy thriller moreover a role that indirectly connects him with Bond. As for The Witcher, the vacant scene will be taken by Liam Hemsworth. And with all due respect to the latter's acting abilities, this is disappointing news for fans of The Witcher, and it casts doubt on the entire future of the franchise. That's all for me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.